Hello everyone and welcome to my eBay sales report for the month of July 2019. I would say that despite the summer slowdown I was still able to generate a lot of sales because I was listing consistently. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the very first item that I sold happens to be this Soap Daddy dual action soap dispenser. I'm sure if you've been to any of your grocery stores or like Bed Bath & Beyond, you would have seen this brand. They sell the Smiley Face Scrubbies. Anyway, picked this up brand new at a thrift for $2.49 and I sold it for $12.99. Next item to have sold is something I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet. It is one of those Sunbeam Mixmaster Juicer milk glass attachments with the reamer and strainer. I know I paid less than a dollar for this. As you can see, there's some rust on the strainer. Uh, the juicer portion, I believe, is porcelain. And uh, I took a best offer of $10.99. And, of course, I decided to take it because I know that most of these don't sell for that much. So to even get 11 is pretty good. So I picked this up at an antique mall for... Twelve fifty. It was half off, and I took a best offer of twenty five. So I basically got what the original owner at the mall was asking. So, not bad. Now this piece I did end up paying up for. It's the nineteen seventy six Sears and Roebuck uh, Bugs Bunny instant load camera. Now I did pay fifteen dollars for this with the intentions of keeping it, but I decided eh, it's from the seventies. If it was older, maybe I would have kept it. So I went ahead and I took a best offer of twenty, so I made five bucks, which I know to some is probably not the best thing, but when you anticipate on keeping something and you pay up for it, and then you decide you don't want us to keep it and you sell it, making five bucks is perfectly okay. Another Goodwill outlet piece, this Eve's Rocher Rich Cream Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Paid less than a dollar for this, and I sold it for $20. Funny enough, with all of the Mary Kay Time West products that I picked up at the Townwide Yard Sale, they sold immediately. So this one is the Ivory. Paid a dollar for this, and I sold it for 10 This 1960s Barbie long red hair head wig came off of a doll that I purchased for three dollars and I sold it for ten dollars and it came from an antique mall. Another antique mall item, uh, this cola and hot dog salt and pepper shaker set. I think I paid two dollars for that and I sold it for ten. Another time-wise piece or time-wise cosmetic Again, paid a dollar, sold for ten. Another time wise piece, paid a dollar, sold it for ten. Scrolling through the wallets and stuff, which I don't normally do when I'm at the thrift stores, I found this Lily Bloom Furry Friends Cat Floral Wallet. I believe it was two oh nine and I sold it for fourteen ninety nine. Picked these up at an antique mall. I think they were like a dollar fifty each, so three dollars invested, sold for ten. Same thing, different uh, magazines in acceptable condition. Paid about three dollars for them, sold them for ten. Another cosmetic, um, it's Number Seven's Radiant Glow Under Eye Concealer. Paid ninety nine cents, and I sold it for ten dollars. Again, another town-wide yard sale find, uh, this Beyonce R uh, Rise Silky Body Lotion. Uh, I paid 66 cents for that because I bought three cosmetics for $2. So I uh, sold that for $8. 
another set of salt and pepper shakers that I picked up at the antique mall. I think I paid three for those and I sold them for 10. Now this was a very good find in my opinion. Uh, I didn't think they would sell, but they did. These are um, wrist sweatlets, kind of like an armband that you would wear when you're working out or you're playing sports. Just an athletic accessory, I guess you could say. These are new old stock, probably from the 1960s, from Kmart. I really liked the packaging on it. I mean, look at that. That's just awesome. So I paid 50 cents for that, and I took a best offer of $15. Now, I did have two of these, one in brown and one in white. I decided to go ahead and keep the white one because I really liked the packaging and completely just paid that off. Another Goodwill outlet piece is this Gabriel Pythagoras puzzle. I did list it as used because as you can see the box is in really rough shape, but all the pieces were there. So I paid less than a dollar for that and I sold it for 10. So I found a Kate Spade uh, phone case and for whatever reason I wasn't paying attention to the notification of when I got an offer on it. So I ended up selling it for $10 and I paid six. So I should have probably counter offered 12, but that's okay, it was just a mistake. And I made money, so no biggie. Now these were a really good pickup. These are Art Deco painted brass ceiling light fixtures. I paid $20 for three of them. So that's roughly six dollars and some change I think it was when I did the math so sold them for fifty dollars and I hope whoever bought these is putting them to great use another really awesome piece that I picked up from one of the charity thrift stores in town is this 40s hazel atlas children's bee bunny milk glass mug Paid five bucks for that, and I sold it for twenty dollars. Another Goodwill outlet piece. I think this was probably when I first started going there. I found this jumbo size garment bag from the nineteen seventies, and again paid next to nothing for this, and I sold it for ten bucks. And when I was printing out the shipping label, I thought it was really cool that I was sending this to a theater like a, an opera house or a movie house where they do plays. So this must have been a prop in one of the uh, productions that they did. So I love finding brand new cosmetic pieces, as you can tell from some of my other sales. Now this one was very good, or it was a very good pickup. So I paid $5 for both the replacement refills and the actual Neutrogena Wave itself and I sold it for $40. All right. Another really good pickup on my part. I think I paid $2 for this. John Frieda's Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Correcting Conditioner. Oh, shampoo. Hope it doesn't matter. Well, they saw it in the picture, so... If they want to return it, it's not a big deal. I'll have to change that. Anyway, uh, I paid $2 and I sold it for 10 I'm going to have to go ahead and change the listing uh, title. So, yeah, just notice that now. And the last thing that sold for this um, last month is this 1970s Bye Bye Waving Hand Car Accessory. New old stock, never been opened. I think I paid 50 cents or 75 cents for that and I sold it for $10. So that's my sales update for the month of July 2019. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. All the links to my social media accounts are down below. Instagram is where I'm most currently active, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys! Thank you.